Hi guys, I'm back. And um, someone yesterday suggested that I take a look at www.patron.com. And I did, and I signed up over there because, well, uh, YouTube, unless you have like a half a million views, you're not going to be making much money. So to keep this uh, channel up and running, I thought I'd go and join over there and see if anyone was interested in funding and um, that's where you're gonna find me so anyone interested go over there and I've got my story to tell and I hope uh, someone uh, only a dollar or something like that that would be fine <coughs> uh, it's not that you know uh, I, I want to really ask for a lot of money, but, you know, these experiments are getting a little bit out of hand and costing a lot of money, and um, that would just help. There are a few people that contacted me, and they bought some of my paintings, and um, I, can't, I can't charge that much money for a painting because I have to ship them all the way to, uh, to uh, America, and these people are going to pay for the shipping costs, and uh, I'm, I, I don't even know what it is. It's going to be a lot of money. So that I just thought, you know, with that uh, Patreon, maybe that'll help. And uh, I'd really like to get some sort of a webcam set up and uh, good lighting so that I could um, do some, uh, uh, some better videos, some software to get these videos uh, better. So, I thought I'd give it a shot and we'll see what happens. So, um, this video is going to be about what I did yesterday. You see, I did this on the Yupo paper. I showed you how to layer the paint. So, you just put like these little stripes on there. And then we put a plastic on it. Can you remember that? So, we put the plastic on and you saw me pushing up the paint and making sure that the colors were sort of merging together. Then what we did was flip off the plastic and we were left with this, which I torched just a little bit. And it's on Yupo paper. And like I said, there is like no way possible to get this off the Yupo paper. It's on there to stay forever. You just can't get it off. No matter how much you try, I've tried this with everything. I've tried with a pellet knife to get under there. It's not working. I've tried with um, a razor blade. I've tried with everything. It's on there forever. So this, you can, if you totally covered an, uh, a Yupo, you could frame it. It would really look very nice. I'll show you one I framed. I have showed this before, but for the people that didn't see that video. So you can just frame it, and I would suggest using a, a nice border around it, because then that way it pops a lot more. But this is this is nice, and it's just done on Yupo. Don't know if I'm good in focus here. But there are some really nice effects in this one. So plain Yupo paper, frame it put it on the wall and you have an instant masterpiece. But what we did was with the plastic, this is the, the side that was facing up, and when I pulled it off, we had this. And if you want to do something with the skin, what you need to do is peel it off this plastic. So what I thought I'd show you is uh, a possibility what you can do with this skin. I have this little box. Let's see if I can still open it because I, I just painted it. And sometimes you have to be careful. You know what I usually do is take it apart, the whole thing, before I, uh, before I paint it. But for the purposes of this video, I just took off the front, the, the little latch. So this is the inside of the box, and I painted the uh, the outside, 
and I left the, the hinges on just so I could, uh, you know, just move it a little bit more comfor comfortably. Um, the thing is, uh, you can paint this uh, any color you want. I did it white because I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing with it. And doing it on a white box is much better. So we're going to be putting this skin on the box. So you could choose, if you have a skin like this, it would be really nice if you chose one of these colors to color the box. So making a skin, I think you should be thinking about what color your background is going to be. And this is just one thing you can do with it. It's not like you have to put it on boxes or vases or whatever. You can put this skin on a painting too. And I might just show you that later on in the week. So you would just peel off this skin. You would um, uh, paint a canvas. You would give it one a, a, a beautiful colored background. Or maybe even do a little pour, you know, without the cells. But just pour the acrylic on there, let it dry or not. And then put the skin on and then on top of that, I would put like uh, the pouring medium. So, but now for this uh, video, we're going to be putting it on this box. So I'm going to get a chair because I think I have to sit with this one. <coughs> and I've had so many people really help me, you know, on YouTube with... Um, with tips and tricks. There was um, another one. Uh, I keep forgetting your names, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, I think Muriel. She um, she said, you know, what you should do, you should be numbering your videos. That way we exactly know uh, which numbers we've had and we know which one is first and which one is last. And it just, you know, I, th I was thinking, why couldn't I think of that? That is so easy. So, so many thanks to her that I just did it immediately. I, uh, I numbered all the videos so you can go and watch them. Um, so this one. With peeling off of the, um, the, the skin, what I do is I take one of those really sharp knives, not a pellet knife. Something like this, you know, you have them in every country sells them. Uh, box cutters, I think you call them. So what I do is I lay it on a flat surface and all I do is go for the really these bits, you know, where the paint is uh, separated a little from the plastic. So you put your knife under there and you just flip it up a little, just a little bit. Don't go too far, only under the edges. And if you do that all around, then, let's see, you can slowly pick it up. And once you have a big part of it uh, pulled from the uh, plastic, see how it goes? It just comes off the plastic. But I'll just leave it on there just for a little bit. Because um, if you're working with a dried painted box or something else, but it's painted and it's dry, what I would do is um, uh, put some pouring medium on because the pouring medium will stick to it and it will uh, smooth out and without bubbles you will uh, be able to put it on there. So let me get it off anyway. I didn't want to take it off before I was videoing because then you couldn't see you know, how I did that. But if you have like the top part, sorry if I'm, if my big head is in the way of the video. See, you just pull it off like that, real slowly. There we go. See, a few little bits are left behind, but can't be bothered with that. So now you think about composition, how you'd like your skin to uh, be put on that box. It has to be something that, you know, you think is appealing. You could even cut out pieces if you like. If you don't like these raggedy edges, I do because I think it's really natural, just like I poured it on the box. 
you can cut them off if you like and I think you could use um, if you stuck this on some other plastic you could use one of those uh, laser cutters those silhouette things of cameos I don't know how you call them I don't have one but I've seen them online and they're pretty cute so just say so you like it like this and you look I wouldn't be putting it over the hinges so I'll just move it a little bit <coughs> like that yeah that's about how I'd, I'd want it so I'll just show you how I put it on so I'll get a, a little bit of pouring medium and for the people that have been to their local art store I would be going and getting a, two bottles of this because they're running out fast and I'm pretty sure my channel has a lot to do with it so Liquitex listen up I'm selling a lot of Liquitex <laughs> So I'm going to do that too because everyone's getting into this. You know, there are so many people um, doing different techniques with this. Uh, on my Facebook group there is a, a, a girl, a lady called Mur Muriel and oh man she does beautiful stuff. You cannot imagine what she makes. Um, I'll ask her uh, one of these days if I can uh, show, uh, show it on the YouTube channel. The thing she does, she does it with a multimedia. She has like these uh, sheet mu music which she puts on a canvas. Then she covers it with sort of paint and leaves these gaps so you can see the sheet mu music. Then she pours an acrylic pour but only in parts. And then the parts that are still white, she, she paints beautiful stuff in there. I don't know how she does it but she is a... A, a really a good artist really so what I'm doing now is just um, painting on the box with the uh, with the pouring medium and it doesn't matter where you paint because you know this is going to be uh, uh, drying up clear Put some on here Just a lot of painting medium, pouring medium, sorry. And it's going to give it a really nice finish too. Oh, I got my thumb in there, saw that. Okay, so when you've covered it, then you come in, you take your skin, and you got to watch out because when it fold, folds on itself, it really sticks together. So you got to watch out for that. And I've already got it stuck together. Okay, doesn't matter. Tear it off. It's This is just for the purpose of showing what you can do. So, say I like it like this. You put it on there. And the pouring medium, you got to do that pretty fast that it's still dry. So you can lift and put it back down because you want to avoid uh, any air bubbles whatsoever that makes it ugly right there you go and I will take that off that's looking pretty okay so what we have now is the skin pressed into the pouring medium and let me do this if you can see this, it is on there like it's been painted on there. Can you see that? How smooth that is? And how the like the drips are dripping down that way. I like that. And then back here you can see where it comes over the side, just like if you poured it. Well, that's about it. Then what I would do is do um do a coat of Liquitex right over it, just like that, and you'll see even though this is pure paint, you will see the colors even deepen, just a little bit more, just enough to make it pop, it's pretty, that's that. 
gonna have to do the sides of course and the front so that's it <coughs> it's ready see how the, the pouring medium is making uh, the paint shine I skipped a bit here so it's really nice and glossy and what I would do is open up the box immediately because otherwise it's going to stick and there you have it a nice little box with a pour on top this is one way to do it and um, another way you can uh, make something really pretty I've, I've showed it before but I thought I'd just show you one more time that is this box it's the box is like 90, 95 cents it's not even a, a euro so you you find them all over the place at, at your art stores or the dollar shop or you just have to look out for these little boxes so what I did was uh, take off the the latch on the front and I painted it one color this blue color because it's the same color that's in my pattern so I painted the whole box then I did a little acrylic pour on a piece of Yupo, really small, and it was like, well, say uh, an inch by two inches. Then I made a picture of it with my uh, camera, and I put it in Photoshop, and I cropped out all the, all the sides I needed. So I put the picture in Photoshop, then you, you know where you can choose the dimensions. I measured up this how big this is and I just put that in Photoshop and then put it to print and I did the same on the sides and the front and this side and the back and of course the bottom doesn't need it so after I uh, glued them on and I'm telling you people if you like to do something that is really Zen um, cutting out these square sp uh, pieces and putting them on a box like this, uh, I could do this all day because I think that is so rewarding when you see what you're... It goes really fast. You, you cut it out and you paste it on top and before you know it, you have, so, have created something really beautiful. And no one has a box like this. That is the, that is the added um, value. You have created something no one has and um, no one will ever have. Because no one has this pour and no one has a picture of it, only me. So, then uh, when you've uh, done all the sides and you let it just dry for like, I don't know, a couple of hours. You can do this with Pod Modge, you can do it with uh, pouring medium, but I wouldn't do that, it's too expensive. Uh, any, any kind of glue you can stick it on, even the spray glue. I've tried that before with a spray glue, it works. So, and when it's totally dry, uh, I take it outside and I spray it with a high gloss lacquer, the acrylic lacquer, and it shines and it's pretty. And that's about all there is to it. But it just gives you another idea what you can do with this acrylic pouring. And uh, at the end of here, I would just want, want, want to show this again, because it's not dry yet. This is the, the oil paint over the acrylic pouring with silicone in it. So I'm going to be showing this at the end of all my videos, because people ask me a lot about this. They even ask me if I could pour acrylic on uh, an oil painting, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> that's, too much, that's too much work because then at first I have to make oil painting, I have to wait three weeks for it to dry because it takes like weeks and weeks before oil, oil paint dries and then I'll have to do an acrylic pouring, I'll, I'll forget about it by then so I'll show you that every time we uh, come along and there was one more thing I wanted to show you I uh, saw yesterday that a couple of people had problems with um, they poured the uh, acrylic and then um, uh, torched it and they got all happy and did the happy dance and then um, 
they went downstairs to or somewhere else downstairs that's what I do uh, they went um, away and they um, came back a couple of hours later and like the whole thing was gone to shreds the whole thing dripped on the table and then I can imagine you know how you'd be looking at that and thinking oh my god what happened well what happened is you didn't use one of these you need one of these with macro uh, photography you have to have one of these because you have to level out your camera and you have to level out your um, surface where you put your macros on uh, or the thing you want to make a macro of but if you have a, a acrylic pouring and, you, and especially when you do it on MDF or plywood um, you want to have it really level because if you walk away and it's not level it will move so slowly but if you're away for a couple of hours and you come back like half your paint is going to be on the table and you don't want that and I've heard that just too often because I'm thinking why does that happen but these these things these are so important I got this one off eBay and I think it's a dollar and I'm sure if you are uh, walking around and uh, in, in one of those uh, thrift shops dollar shops whatever you'll find one of these they're so cheap and you just want a couple but buy, buy not one just buy three or four because they're so small they're always handy and while you're there if you're really into this acrylic skin stuff and you want to put it on boxes buy one of these because this is a set I never knew or never would have thought I would ha have to have uh, tools but recently I'm stocking up on my tools these are really little screwdrivers and they really help to um, dismantle one of those boxes take off the hinges and put them back on and I got all my little screwdrivers in a little box and this whole thing was two euros and you know what 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 happens you know you get one of those little knives out of the kitchen and you try to undo the screws and then you go crazy because you're cutting into the box and stuff like that well that's what happened to me but these little screwdrivers if you come across them just buy a box you'll be thanking me uh, later <laughs> okay so this was uh, just another one of my videos and um, if anyone is interested please go to patreon.com and um, fund me a little bit I would really appreciate it because I want a new webcam to give you the better quality of videos. So thank you and see you. Oh no, I'm going to be doing a really big painting in like about an hour. Really big, 1 meter 20 by 40. So see you later next time. Bye bye.